Well, hello. It's the sixth cat, eh? I'm just playing this game. It's called uh, Earth IO. You ever heard of it? It's very special. Yeah, special in a lot of ways. So I'm gonna go over a few things, namely uh, the glitch spots, especially in this map. There's many, many glitch spots. Uh, a lot of people ask me how to do glitches or wall glitches, is what we're talking about. Like, <laughs> I don't think I can do it right here. I can't. <laughs> that thing, basically. So if you, it can be an advantage sometimes. So it feels kind of unfair if not everybody knows how to do it, and nobody's really explained it that well anywhere. So I'm gonna attempt to do that. And also, I'd like to talk about some of the features of this map that are that make it not as fun to play. Namely, cheap spots where people can kind of camp. Oh, <laughs> nice, he's in the tea. Nice job. Hanging in the tea. It's tea time. Oh, I have sugar. Well, here we go. So, this is the most basic glitch, actually. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. You're a hunter. You can't get out. <laughs> Who wants to be in there? That's that's my favorite glitch right now is going into that T. Okay, Let, let's just back up, back up, back up. I'm doing a video right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I guess I'll be on top then. I was kind of hoping not to so people don't bother me. I'll take I'll take those upgrades. So, what is a wall glitch? Well, uh, basically, so like the simplest ones are if you're huge. This is an easy one for anybody to do. This is the easiest one. Certain spots, like right here, usually they look like that. They usually have. Well, I guess it's just a one block high corner edge like that, concave. So if you just do a basic jump when you're down there on the edge, you'll you can glitch into this wall specifically, and there's various spots that it applies to. And then when you're in this wall, I'm pretty sure you can only rock it. You can rock a boost to get horizontal distance, but you can only do that to the left. <laughs> rock a boost. That is rock a boost to go left, and then you can jump to go slightly higher. If you try to go left or right, it'll kind of glitch out like this. You won't go anywhere. I'll, although you'll be stuck in this kind of two block. I can use that to move like over one block, but you can't get it to progress blocks. You're just in this kind of zone of two blocks if you don't rock a boost. Got it? <laughs> I guess that is the simplest one. So to do the the basically the the main one. Oh jeez. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh. <laughs> okay. Mostly just distracting when people talk to me. This is an easier one to do. So, if it's a, if you're huge, oh god, I don't know, they're just gonna stalk me. If you're huge or if you're regular size with basic jump one, any edge like this, it's hard to find a hard rule of what's glitchable. You kind of just have to experiment to find out. But generally, these concave corners, these holes going up to caves allow you to do the glitch jumps. There was only four block jump. The whole, the whole ability to do it relies on you hitting your the ceiling or the top of your jump at the ceiling at the same time. So really it's like a precision getting your, your jump. So if you're huge with no basic jumps or if you're regular size with basic jump one, any of these four blocks don't require any extra jumps to adjust your height to be able to glitch through. So that's why they're m the most reliable to do, and it's probably the ones I use in combat. Oh, who wants to get killed? Okay. 
Everybody wants to kill. Everybody wants me to kill them today. Man, this glitch thing is so like, it's just not like super easy to explain, I guess. But I've explained it so many times to people through text. Okay. Um. So if you, if it's not a four block, you're gonna have to do some things to adjust your height. Basically, the end of your jump has to be right on that corner. So I guess we'll do this one, since we're here right now. This is a good example, because this is probably the easiest way to do this in a kind of like long jump way. So to get into the T, I like to start here. You don't have to, but it's my favorite way. And you, you press right once, and jump once, and you're going to allow that momentum to carry you. Maybe at the end you'll, you'll hit right again, but... And so basically you want to time your jumps so that the top of your jump it's gonna land right on the corner at the right time. So it's very precise. Um, so I had to go pretty low on my sec on that first jump to get the right height. So you allow yourself to fall a little bit, you're gonna brush against that wall right here. And then the final actual glitch jump is when you're when you're aligned correctly, it's the top of your jump and you're in the corner, then you do then you kinda I like to flick like both directions, but I think you only need to press one opposite direction oh and by the way you're doing this without ninja mode so ninja mode affects your jump so that four block thing I was telling you about if you have ninja mode um, that's not a glitch that's how you can tell it's not glitch it's a glitchable spot if it goes like a little flicker that means he's attempting to glitch but it's not a glitchable spot so like that you can get him to the T if you're huge, it's pretty easy to get out of the T. If you're regular size, it's a lot trickier. What you'll have to do is you'll have to jump, um, hit your head, drop a little bit, then get to this corner. Some people here like, don't have to boost, but I have to boost. And you jump again to do that kind of... The actual glitch jump is an extra jump that you're doing when you're aligned like that. You just change direction. And yeah, like I said, you have to be out of ninja mode to do this easy four block so any any of these four block glitches are reliable for like battle the other ones are kind of gimmicky although I'm practicing them but they're much more difficult to do so if it's another one like this um, sometimes it's easier just if you change sometimes you, you'll end up jumping a bunch of times where's one that does that like this one if you just straight up jump You'll sometimes jump a few times before going up, but if you want to just get out the first time, you change your di change directions when you jump, pretty much simultaneously, pressing the jump and the opposite direction. This whole principle seems like in the glitch is to changing direction, jump, is the basic thing, and then the second part is to align yourself so that you're able to do that. So, what about some of the harder uh, glitches? So this is another four right here. I'm just gonna try to show you a bunch of different ones. There's, there's a one on top of here. Sometimes I don't even know and I just try. Like, I didn't even know that was one. I just tried. This is one. Uh, yeah, I can teach this the slide off glitch. Might as well. So if you have rocket boost, as far as I know, is the only way to do it with rocket boost. It's a boost. When you hit the wall, change direction. And you'll slide down. Long way down. Can you glitch into this? See, I don't know if I'm gonna try the harder ones because I have this weird, my ping is kind of jumping all over the place. So some these harder glitches are much trickier to do. Might take a bunch of tries. I don't know if I can get in here. I don't know. I'm fail. Like I said, my, my ping, with an unreliable ping to do the harder glitches is pretty difficult. But either way, I'll try to show you where they are. I think this you can glitch through. I was going to make like a little map of all the glitchable spots. So this is why I'm going to fall. So this is not four blocks, this is three blocks right here. So I'll have to fall a little bit, then do it. There we go. I was able to do it. It's kind of like the T glitch is where you're falling. Yeah, if you're tiny and you're in the T or small, you're stuck forever. So, Or if you're Hunter, apparently. Which I, I didn't even think about being a huge Hunter. <laughs> That's something you'd like to do. Is this a glitch? 
Yeah, <laughs> something I don't even know. There's so many, it's like this map is rife with them. You can go to the here too, I just found this out the other day. So now this time we're hitting our head, dropping, and on our extra jump, we can align so that our uh, the top of our jump is right at the ceiling. We're gonna do it. I believe in me. So I also want to talk about the map in the, in the way of camping spots. So there's some areas that only certain classes can get to. And I think that's pretty unfair. And it makes it less, less fun if you're fighting a certain class. Although this game is kind of fundamentally unfair. Some things like that I feel like would be an easy fix. There's another four spot I like to use. Um... Ooh, this this is like such a broken. See, the, like this guy chasing me, this glitch now he can't <laughs> attack me. So this is like a savage glitch wall camp thing. <laughs> See right here, it looks like I'm pretty sure probably flower mage can hit me and sniper. I think that's about it. Well, right here, technically a champion can reach me. So if I go up one more, then they won't be able to reach me. Uh. Yeah, I think Sniper's far as I can think can hit me. It's the only one. Flower me. So those are ones that go through walls. So that's kind of cheap, right? <laughs> like only two classes can hit you in that spot. That's kind of lame. Another four spot. This is an interesting one where you can just boost and go like that. Or you can do this, but that's harder to do. Take my word for it. If it's like a direct diagonal like that, it's almost always glitchable. If it's like this, it's kind of unknown if it's glitchable. In fact, I don't even understand why it's possible. I guess it was. I've tried to understand it, but I've not been able to. See, so yeah, this place this is rife with them. Sometimes I don't even remember, I just try them all, all the time. No, I didn't think so. But there are always these kind of corners, this top right, top left corner pieces. So I think if you made a map without those concave edges, you could technically make a glitchless map. Oh my god, this, look how many corner pieces there are. These are all glitchable. There's only a few that are four spots that make them easy. Well, I guess there's a bunch. This is a four spot. That's a four spot. So this is a, we'll do a drop. Can you not? Okay. <laughs> you could leave me alone. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so annoying. Uh, I try to give people mercy. I'll bring them down to low health and let them live, but they still attack me. I mean, come on. Come on, come on! Okay, that took way too long. But I kind of determined to try a bunch of these. Okay, those are easy glitches. I mean, not easy, but they're obviously glitches, that is. I think these are glitchable too. Oof. So, cheap spots. I want to show you the number one, which is obviously just broken. It's the well. I call it the well. It's this deep spot in the tower. Now come on. Come on. Again, there's only a few classes that can get you. Pretty much close range or like, you know, mages or archers and stuff. Which aren't generally used. Uh, snipers can't hit you. Champions, paladins can't hit you. I mean, why? <laughs> you know? So if you're a map maker, please don't make spots like that. And another spot. Not exactly this kind of thing, but in general, this idea of this one little block. Dip. Hmm, I'm trying to think of one. So there's a bunch of stalkers. Glitch here. Can't glitch there. Stop stalkimating me.
<laughs> you can do up here, but that's no point. These are nice little, reliably easy glitches. You say bored? Busted? So those are easy. I can't think of a one dip. And also these, like, dead ends. They're up for argument, whether they're good or bad for the game. I mean, this game, you gotta take take a lot of things to stride. It's definitely not a fair game by any means. In fact, it's very unfair in a lot of ways. So you can't expect a lot of fairness for it. Uh, for game design, you could think of making things less fair to give uh, balance for less experienced players. That's kind of the whole philosophy with the Smash Bros. updates, or the, the newer games. They kept making them more accessible, so more people can enjoy them. Because Melee became super um, deep, I guess you could call it. There's very strong mechanical things you need to practice like for hours and days doing, just to kind of be able to play the game. So, it made it less accessible to new players. So that's why a lot of these arguments for unbalance come into play. But you gotta think of who it, it rewards. I think in general, a lot of the unbalances in this game reward experienced players and punish noobs. And I, don't, I think with unbalance, it's not what you're going for. So in a way, this game, this unbalance is kind of killing itself as far as having new players and stuff. Aspects of the unbalance that are okay, that I think, are like teams teaming and unteaming and killing your own teams, that kind of wonkiness gives a lot of dynamic to the play. It gives a lot of variety, it gives a lot of like changing aspects. So that are good. I think those are good. But like the camping spots on fairness just is frustrating for anybody. If you don't have the right class and you have to make an alt, but a lot of people don't even think to make an alt. Or you just change your class and then they can just move out of that spot. So this game seems to want to reward camping and running away except when you're a higher level then you have uh, more speed and everything to, to get past people so there's a few things if I had this game I, that I would change to keep the core idea about it but to make it more less cheap which should make a better experience for all players of all types and I think a couple things you could do I think the one number one thing to do is to get rid of speed upgrades. I think everybody should be at the same speed. I mean, if this if I made this from the ground up, I don't think I would have levels and stuff like that. Or you don't make them... You make everything with a trade-off. So if it has a strength, but it also has a weakness to it. But all the upgrades are always better to have. In a way. I mean, jump, you could argue. But in general... Like, speed. Speed is just totally overpowered. If you have more speed than somebody else, you can just run away all the time. So, I mean, that, this is mostly what I wanted to cover. I don't think I'm going to fight anybody, but I want to show you some of these glitches and how to do them. Talk a little bit about the balance of the game. If anything, I should just make my own games, but I can't help but always think about design and how to make things better. So you could do one in the map. If you made the map less cheap, everybody who makes maps makes them. None of these cheap spots, dead ends, little dips. Um, one lane, I never, never talked about that. The one laner tunnels. One block high tunnels. Obviously good for gunners, flower mages, worse for like the champions and stuff. Definitely overpower for some classes. It just makes the game more cheap. And we want to have this game playable for everybody. So thanks for watching, kids. Hope you have a great day now. Don't get caught in the chicken coop. The fox don't get you.